Emancipation, Art of the United States of America. The first Africans to arrive in British America are shipped to Jamestown, Virginia in 1619. There they are forced to work as slaves for white farmers planting and harvesting crops. Slavery spreads throughout the American colonies, especially to southern plantations, which harvest tobacco, indigo, rice, and cotton. Slaves are sold at auction to the highest bidder, often splitting up families. Some owners withhold adequate food and clothing. Others neglect the elderly after they are too old to work. Often slaves are overworked and sometimes brutally beaten. By 1804, all northern states abolished slavery. Abolitionists demand the abolition of slavery in the southern states. Some slaves try to escape to the north. Some rebel against their masters. In response, slavery laws in the south become even harsher. Teaching a slave to read or write becomes illegal. Both black and white abolitionists begin working together to end slavery. The memoirs of a former slave, Frederick Douglass, becomes a bestseller that aids the cause. Helped by abolitionists, slaves escape to free states in Canada. The network of secret routes, safe houses, and station masters is called the Underground Railroad. The anti-slavery novel Uncle Tom's Cabin increases northern anger at the injustices of slavery, but enrages Southerners. After Abraham Lincoln is elected president in 1860, seven slave states break away, secede, to form the Confederate States of America. Lincoln refuses to recognize the Confederacy, declaring secession illegal. Jefferson Davis is chosen to lead the Confederacy as president. The Confederacy fires on U.S. Fort Sumter in Charleston, South Carolina, taking it by force, beginning the Civil War. Determined to preserve the Union, Abraham Lincoln responds as commander-in-chief to put down the rebellion. He calls on the states for troops. Four more southern states secede. Robert E. Lee takes command of the Confederate Army of Northern Virginia. Later, he assumes supreme command of the Southern armies. General Ulysses S. Grant wins many battles for the North. Eventually, President Lincoln makes him commander of all the Union armies. On September 22, 1862, Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation frees all slaves in the rebel states. 180,000 former slaves and free men enlist in the Union Army. As Union armies advance south, more slaves are liberated. A slave family escapes to the safety of Union lines at dawn. Battles are fought by land. Battles are fought by sea. Soldiers fight on foot. Soldiers fight on horseback. Both Union and Confederate soldiers fight valiantly for four years. With over a million casualties, 750,000 soldiers die. In many border states, the war pits brother against brother and father against son, who fight on opposing sides. Robert E. Lee surrenders his army on April 9, 1865, as a sign of respect, Grant permits Lee to keep his sword and horse. Fighting ceases as news of Lee's surrender reaches other troops. President Lincoln visits Richmond, Virginia, after the Confederate government has fled. When black workmen bow to him, he tells them to kneel to God only and thank him for the liberty you will hereafter enjoy. Days later, Lincoln is assassinated. Prior to his death, Lincoln played a leading role in persuading Congress to pass the 13th Amendment, which outlaws slavery in all states. It is adopted on December 6, 1865, ending 246 years 
of slavery in the United States of America.